ladies and gentlemen, who is ready for some old awards? Yes! We've been waiting all day long for this. Who's with me since tomorrow, this morning? I just woke up. Okay, yeah! So guys, all right. Oh, my hair's so wet from the shower. Me! I did! A few more. And who's happy that he casually strolled along and saw, oh, we're releasing the world new, we're having the world premiere for the new Overwatch animated short. It's like, lucky you. So welcome to oh. everyone here in Cologne, of course. Welcome everyone wow. at home. Thank Is you for tuning standing? in. Is everyone standing? We're about to release the newest animated short of Overwatch. You might have seen some There are no chairs there. there? None That's of funny. you has seen the full thing. Me neither, and I'm really, really excited. But of course, we do have special guests only for this precious moment here in Cologne. So please welcome with me the develop the development team of Overwatch. <laughs> I'm so excited! Fashion time! Aaron Keller, Assistant Game Director, Jeff Chamberlain, v Vix uh, Director, and Bandai Project. Director, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. Oh, oh, my so hair awesome is a fucking ratchet mess. <gasps> Get him in! How's it going, Aaron? I'm doing great. So, what, what, what is, what, what are this people gonna get at home looking forward to? Uh, it's going to be a mess. It's fine. Looking forward to. Well, we have a lot in store for you. I can't wait for you guys to see what. I just want to see Bastion. And Jeff, you've been with They're us. They're baiting last me year. into other stuff. And you came again. I did. Thank you for this, uh, of course, and how do you like it? Oh, I love Gamescom. It's uh, awesome to be here and be with all the, you know, players and everything. It's just great. Okay, Ben. So, we, <laughs> as, as already mentioned, we've seen a lot of teasers. And, I mean, your t-shirt says something as well. Can you <laughs> tell us about whom this new animated short is about? Um, well... <laughs> <laughs> it's about Ganymede, <laughs> this bird. It's about Pepe's yellow brother. Awesome guys. Well then, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. Well, I mean, Dash <laughs> Take us Thanks, through Billy. the new map. To catch you guys up, we recently released Overwatch's first new hero, Anna. We now have 22 heroes in our lineup. As we oh, first new heroes, release new heroes, they will continue to be completely free of charge. Hey, 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 hey. Anna is a striking figure. She was one of the original members of the Overwatch team. She's the mother of one of our other heroes, Farah. And we think we're going to have a lot of fun exploring the universe and the lore of Overwatch through this character. Now, we're not just excited about Anna as our first it's new so hero. Excited, right? The team is really excited about her as our first new support hero. She excels at healing teammates from afar with her scope biotic rifle. She can take down a threatening enemy with a well-timed sleep dart. And she can use her ultimate ability, Nano Boost, to about greatly sleep enhance dart. a Damn. member of her own team. Now, we're going to have more heroes release over over the course of development but we've also been putting a lot of time into seasonal events and our first Yay, seasonal event was Lucio. released a few weeks ago the summer games it's live and playable right now the idea behind the summer Games started with making a few sprays and skins for our heroes but as the team got into it and we got really excited about it we quickly made over a hundred new items for players to collect you can get new sprays, new player emotes, new highlight intros, and even new skins that represent the hero's nationality. We even released a set of new legendary skins for three of our heroes that you can see on the screen behind me. As part of Summer Games, we also released a brand new game mode, Lucio Ball. Yeah. This is our take on football, and we think it really captures yeah. the spirit of team competition and good sportsmanship. Uh, the idea behind this map started when two of our designers, Dave Adams and Became Michael Hyper, realized how fun it was to shoot, shoot the basketballs and physics objects in the spawn rooms. Oh. So they started oh, working on a map in secret, and that's eventually what became what we know as Lucio Ball. Um, 
We are going to continue adding more events to the game. Um, we've been really excited about the great reception that Lucio Ball and the rest of the summer games have had. Uh, now that you're caught up, I want to talk to you about our new map, Overwatch's first new map, Eichenfall. Let's take a look at a short video. First new map since release. We keep saying that, like we haven't seen new maps so far. Like the Diablo horns on the wall in the middle. Mm -hmm. so good. Little bastions all over the place. Yay! It's a little Ganymede. This map is so pretty. <laughs> Someone's inflatable. Um, side Eichenball leads. takes place in the ruins of a small German town on the outskirts of Stuttgart. In Overwatch lore, this is the place where an epic battle happened between Omnix and the German Defense Forces. Now, the German Defense Forces were led by a Crusader division, including Reinhardt, and the leader of the Crusaders and Reinhardt's mentor, Baldrick. Eventually, they made a last stand and defeated the Omnics and turned the tide of the war in Germany. Eichenwald is what we call a hybrid map. And a hybrid map starts with the attackers capturing an objective, and from there they push a payload through the rest of the map. It is also Overwatch's most vertical map. Players can attain a higher elevation than they have in any other map. You can run around on the castle walls and ramparts. And as you push the payload through the map, before you be reach the keep itself, map. you need to get it across a narrow drawbridge. And it's a very oh, tense a moment in the game choke. because there is a drop off <laughs> to your death on either side of it. So attacking teams need to coordinate and it creates very, very tense, exciting moments for both teams here. Once you get inside the keep itself, you will push the payload to the end of the map and be confronted with the remains of Baldrick. This is where he made his last stand against the Omnics, and this is his final resting place. As an Overwatch agent, you are tasked in recovering his armor. Oh. And this armor is so cool looking. And we have sent you all the way to recover it that we couldn't help but give it to you as a new legendary Reinhardt stand. Yeah! Wait, do we get it just for completing the map? Or do we still have to unlock it with crates, though? Oh my god, it looks so cool. Look at how shiny and cool it is. And the map itself will be available soon on the PTR, and it will live in early September. Oh, now, yeah. to, that's it for the game. And to talk about the moment you've all been waiting for, yeah. here's Jeff Chamberlain and Ben Dyer. Oh my god, the Genji thank Hanzo you, short you. was so good. So, I hope this is the one that story. Was We've been talking about different ways we could tell that story for about a year now. We've, we've talked about comics, which hopefully you've all enjoyed online. Um, we're talking about a graphic novel as well, and of course we're talking about the Overwatch shorts. Um, we've enjoyed making these shorts quite a bit for, for almost a year now. 
and it's always fun for me to watch them. We were just backstage, and I couldn't help but just to be, you know, we were talking about something else, and the shorts came up, and we all ended up watching them. Um, so we enjoy it. We hope that you enjoy it as well. There's Lil again. And we can hope to continue doing them as long as, you know, there's interest. Um, so when, we, when it came to showing a new Overwatch short at Gamescom, a while ago we were talking about what would be the most ideal and most appropriate. We realized we had a story that took place in Germany and it correlated perfectly with the uh, map that you just saw. So um, I guess without any further ado, Ben, why don't you introduce the world to the new short? I hope you, my camera is not in the way of any important stuff happening. I think it won't be, it's small enough. So, choices. We make choices every day. And some of those choices define who we are. Now imagine this, a robot, artificial intelligence program to do one <laughs> thing and one thing only, so cute. to fight. Comes face to face with a choice that's gonna alter his destiny. So oh. you guys have a choice too. Would you like to listen to me talk some more or watch the next short? Let's watch the next short. Yeah? Short, all right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the last bastion. <laughs> Okay, all right, okay. okay. Absorb all of this. Let's go. Okay, I'm not in the way if I sit here. Henry's building a nest on Bastion. Peck, peck. <gasps> oh my god. It's like taking Ganymede home with him. <laughs> Fucking God. He thinks it's gunfire. Oh, Bastion. No. Oh, the little robot with PTSD. Oh no, he 
destroy Ganymede's nest. Ganymede's okay though, we know that. And you have so much fun in the forest, though. Oh. Oh, is he gonna repair it? It's checking its memories. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, my stage manager was like, you're not allowed to cry, I'm like, I can't promise, and <laughs> I'm actually tearing up, that was beautiful, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, and I think that's worth another round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> the look on the, on the crowd, uh, everyone's just like, okay. <laughs> oh. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. This was Gamescom 2016 uh, day one. Tomorrow will be more. And of course, a big round of applause to the Overwatch development team here on stage for bringing us this awesome animated short from Overwatch. I still have no words because I, 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 I as already said, I haven't seen before and I don't know what to say. I'm, literally out of words. Uh, that happens really because I'm here to talk. So, 
But yeah, guys, you'll be staying with us for a little, I guess, uh, signing some autographs in our autograph booth. Aww. Yeah, if you want a picture so or a cool. selfie or a signature from these awesome guys, then you can just find yourself in, um, yeah, from your side on the left-hand side of the stage. From my side, it's the right-hand side, of course. And yeah, Essa, thank you for sticking with us. This was day one. Tomorrow will be more, promise. But I would say, let's watch it again, please. Let's watch it again. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Who wants to see it again? I'm gonna watch it again? Oh, right, on. Let's roll it. Oh my god, that's that's awesome. Okay, guys, I'm gonna sit here and watch again, but you already saw it, so. Well, actually, here we go. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna go away now.
All right, team. That's it for me. Oh, God. I gotta, like, do something with shower hair now. But uh, I hope you guys liked it. That was amazing. Props to Blizzard. It was very reminiscent of Miyazaki stuff to me. It's like, especially the the imagery of the forest on one side, the city on the other, the dead bodies in between, but this this lush green field and bright blue skies with big fluffy clouds. So uh, let me know what you guys thought and um, you know comment down below. Make sure to check out Twitch channel to actually get like a response out of me because <laughs> YouTube is not really the way to get in touch. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.